how do people Welcome back to my vlog to my life to my morning it's horrible and early it's only like quarter to eight but i'm awake because i need to go and print off my poster before i go and do a presentation for three hours yeah i'm pretty sure i only present for like five minutes of that and i'm there for three hours seems a bit pointless to me doesn't it and to you guys too i'm sure you can point out the floor in this day that's because it's down there <laughs> yeah you can tell i'm tired um yeah i need to go and print this stuff off but ellie's here say hello Hi. <laughs> um yeah it's a, a tired morning but at least i've gone up early at least i went to bed late uh early i went to bed at 10. did we go to sleep at 10. I think around 10, yeah. Blimey. That's rare we were for in me. bed before 10. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. I'm very proud of that. I didn't have dinner. So I put dinner off so that I could get sleep. Quite a good shout, really. But now I want to go to bed that time today, but I kind of agreed to go out this evening. So I'm not sure how feasible that's going to be. Right, let's go do this presentation. Does that let me go off? No, I'll keep it off. Hopefully oh. this goes okay. Yay! I'm back from my poster presentation thing. Um, it went okay. Um, so basically how it went, it was very, very long-winded and we really didn't need three hours to do this. We went along, we had a bunch of poster boards set up uh, across the room and everyone pinned their posters up. Uh, and then we basically walked around for three hours and looked at other people's posters and, and like critiqued them ourselves, just whatever we wanted to do. We, we didn't even need to do that. We could have just sat and not done anything for three hours, but I was like, I want to use my time practically and went and looked at everyone else's and it's like, these are good, these are bad, what they can improve on, stuff like that. Um, and whilst we did that, the uh, the people, uh, the lecturers went around and um, critiqued our poster design. Basically this was, we weren't being assessed on the content of the poster, but how it was, des how it was designed. Um, but when they came to critique how the poster looks, um, they want you to be there to explain your project so they can give you pointers and stuff where to go. So that's quite a nice thing they did. Um, so my one got reviewed uh, by a lecturer called Catherine Steele. She's really nice. I really like her. And um, wait, no, I can't remember if it's Catherine Steele or if it's Catherine something else. I, never mind. Um, she's really nice, really friendly. She reminds me of a friend I used to have back in uh, Bay House School. Um, but she uh, said that my... My, like my methods and stuff that I'm going to be writing about need to kind of be improved because they're quite dated methods and they've, they've been critiqued quite a bit recently or in the last 10 years uh, but the design was very good so I was really happy with with that because I agreed that my content wasn't as good as my design uh, anyway I had I did that and then we and everyone did that and then we had like a public vote uh, like where everyone um, picked their favorite posters and this is where I got a bit annoyed <laughs> Because I felt like, in terms of, like, people didn't take into account what it was actually for. And it was for eye-catching uh, and layout, font, colours, everything like that. And, and that basically what made the poster really good. The poster itself. Not the content, nothing like that. No extras, nothing that people said. That's a doorbell. So, um... There were three people who ended up winning. It was like a top three thing. The person who came first thoroughly deserved it. She, hers was really, really good. Really eye-catching. Very bright. I felt it may have been a bit too overcomplicated. There was a lot of, of different colours and boxes and arrows and stuff. But it did look very good and it caught the eye. Um, so that was like a really good one. Then there were two um, two girls who, who came second and third. And this is the issue I had. Th those two were very good friends. And so I'm guessing that they each voted for each other and their posters weren't very good. Um, so I feel like they, their friends may have voted for them, something like that. Because um, honestly, from a uh, critiquing the posters standpoint, they weren't very good. Um, it turned out one of these girls doesn't eat chocolate anyway. So they had to pick a fourth winner. And it was this guy called Chris, whose poster, <laughs> again, right, this, this is the thing. I love Chris. Chris is really good. But... In my opinion, his poster wasn't very good. Um, his poster was about tropical rainforest, some species in a tropical rainforest. I can't remember what it was. Um, however, to emphasise this point, he had bought these big rubber, rubber um, like plastic leaves that he had put around the poster, like um, after he pinned it to the poster board. And I feel like that's what got him the votes was that he had added this extra thing in for 
like appeal and eye catchingness, uh, which is true because you could see the leaves poking over the top of the poster board from behind it. It wasn't just something you could see from looking at the front. Um, so people obviously wanted to go and see what he'd done, but the poster wasn't good. Um, and yet he came what, fourth uh, and equivalent of third. So I, I feel like that's kind of cheating the system a bit because it was literally being assessed on the poster cont content and being voted for because you um, added extra stuff. It's the same as getting voted for because of the content of the poster itself, not the design. I feel like that's kind of cheating the system a bit. Anyway, I got chocolate at the end anyway. It's not really that, that big deal, but I feel like people didn't treat it the way it was meant to be treated and people didn't vote the way it's meant to be voted for. People didn't go around and look at everyone's posters. There were only like 10 of us in the group of 20 that actually went around and, and looked at other people's posters properly and critiqued every single one. Um, so I guess it's limited in that sense, but oh well, that's just, uh, that's that's all you, you get. I thought mine deserved more than, I don't know how many votes I got, I probably didn't get any, but I thought mine was, was quite a good poster. But never mind, I'm not salty at all. Anyway, I'm going to spend the rest of the day relaxing uh, because I think I deserve it. <sighs> I do have like a, a possible employability lecture, but I, I'm not sure if I'm going to go. We'll see, won't we? Uh, it's Friday, it's the last day of November. I should probably buy an advent calendar today. But I don't know which type of advent calendar to get because I could spend a bit more money and get a posher one like the Thornton one I had last year or I could just stay simple and get like a milky bar one. It's a tough ask and the fact that I have to choose today is rather worrying. I said lunch, some grilled cheese tomato thing, thing with jigs. I definitely didn't cook them for too long or anything. Never mind, that means that the cheese is burnt on top and the toast is extra crispy been playing some Red Dead Online, it's finally come out for anyone who's ordered the game on um, on Xbox and it was, oh, it's so good, I'm playing with Sam, that's the best bit, like, I don't really play games with Sam, but now this is out, we're just both RPing really hard as these, these old, old western veterans, my name is Buddy McTavish, oh, it's really good, really good fun, um, Ellie's coming here so I can sign a card, I really need a poo, uh, but I'm, I have every intention of just carrying on playing this all day. Merry Christmas, it's Advent now. Congratulations, everyone! It's advent. Yeah, I know. It's not. It's a normal size bed. Oh wow! Wow! It's like my family. Um, I've had a lift. We should do everything. I've had like a lift one for the last. Like, <laughs> <three years. laughs> <laughs> we'll do, here's Joy. Are it's you so proud that you got a calendar? <laughs> About three years ago, because we were like, we want advent calendars. We bought lint ones, and we were like, alright, it's fine. I've stopped. I've stopped now. Because they just like twenty fourth. <laughs> Congratulations everyone, it's Advent. I definitely owe you guys an explanation of where I've been tonight. Uh, if you can't tell, I've been drinking a little bit, a tiny little incy wincy bit. Um, and uh, yeah, it's Advent now. It's the 1st of December. That's fucking mad. I still haven't bought an Advent calendar. I definitely need to go out today and buy one. Um, but essentially, what I've done this, this evening is, as I explained in my previous few clips, I've been playing Red Dead Redemption with Sam. Um, so I played, <laughs> I played Red Dead with, like, Sam with... Uh, with just Sam for about four and a half hours. Pretty bad. Pretty bad, but pretty mad. And it was really good fun. Uh, for all the glitches and, and bugs that happened, it was such good fun playing with Sam again. Uh, I miss him so much. I can't wait to get home to to see him and stuff. So it was really good fun playing with Sam. Um, aside from that, uh, as you may have seen from the last two clips, I went over to Laura's house and we did some pre's over there, a couple of them were going out for the evening, but um, I wanted to just go there to, to have a few drinks but not go out out. Um, so we had pre's over there, really good, really good fun. Um, we called in the, the, the advent period uh, in a very subtle way, you know. <laughs> Congratulations everyone, it is now advent. Um, and just had a really nice time just chatting and stuff. So, uh, But I'm home now, it's most definitely time for bed. Uh, and I haven't edited yesterday's vlog yet, so I should probably do that now. I don't know, I've drunk quite a bit and I really feel like all I need is bed. So if I don't do any more clips now, you know why. And yes, I was correct. No more clips at all. It is bedtime. It's early, but you can't see her at all. No. Oh, you can. <laughs> That's spooky. <laughs> yes, you can see you more than I can see myself. Uh, yeah, I'm going to wrap up the vlog. the star today. of the show. The star of below. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow for my favorite video. Until then, make sure to like the video if you enjoyed. Comment down below, subscribe. Let me see every single day of my life and all the cool shit that I get up to and all the cold hands that keep touching my leg <laughs> annoyingly. And uh, yeah, until tomorrow, stay. Fiddle.
know. I'm safe. Bye. Yeah. Bye.